Welcome to Medicom. We have been advancing diagnostic cardiology since 1981. Our goal at Medicomp is to provide the best telemedicine solutions for healthcare professionals and their patients. To achieve that goal, Medicomp presents a training guide for medical staff on the Decipher Holter Monitor. This video will take you step by step through the process of setting up Medicomp's Decipher Holter Monitor for a patient monitoring procedure. The Decipher Holter Monitor is the first Holter Monitor to pass all the rigorous tests required to monitor the crew of the International Space Station as they live and work in outer space. Designed with an onboard artificial intelligence algorithm, Diogenes, the Decipher analyzes each heartbeat in real time and is capable of classifying many different arrhythmias while on the patient. The training program is divided into three sections. Section 1 covers preparing patient enrollment forms via web or fax, battery installation, and programming the Holter monitor at the computer. Section 2 deals with the hookup of the Holter on the patient and also covers patient use of the monitor. And Section 3 demonstrates the procedure for downloading patient data from the Decipher monitor, accessing patient data on the computer, and retrieving patient reports on the web. Section 1. When preparing patient enrollment forms, you have two options. Please note, not all sites need to fill out an enrollment form. Please check with your Medicom sales representative if you're not sure. Option 1. The traditional paper enrollment form. Please be sure to include patient name, medical records number, demographics, and insurance information. You can enter the insurance information on the enrollment form or fax a copy of both sides of the patient's insurance card along with the patient enrollment form to Medicom's Cardiac Monitoring Center at 1-888-340-4430. Option 2. Use Medicom's Web Enroll on the Arrhythmia Access website at www.medicompinc.com. To ensure greater accuracy, we recommend web enroll because there can be variations in the quality of fax transmissions in addition to difficulty in reading handwriting. Log in by clicking the Arrhythmia Access icon on the Medicomp home page. The Welcome to the Arrhythmia Access Portal page will come up and advise you of any updates or alerts. Click on Patient Enrollment and then Holter. Complete the form ensuring that you have included the insurance information particularly the insurance company name, group claims number, policy number, and name and address of the subscriber. Then click on the Submit Enrollment button at the bottom of the screen. Required fields are marked with a red asterisk. Whether you enroll your patient via fax or on the web, your patient is now enrolled at Medicom's Cardiac Monitoring Center. Battery installation. The location of the battery compartment depends on the model of the monitor you have. Both models only operate on one AA alkaline battery. On the side location model, slide the latch in the direction of the embossed arrow to unlock the battery door. Tilt the monitor so that the old battery slides out. Insert the new battery using the label on the back as your guide. To close the battery door, ensure the latch remains in the out position. Close the door and push the latch back to the locked position. For the rear location model, slide the battery door in the direction of the embossed arrow to remove the battery. Use the ribbon attached if needed. Insert a new battery using the picture inside the compartment as your guide. Align the cover to the compartment and slide the door back into position. The unit will now turn on and cycle through initial setup screens, including date and time, and will stop at Pacemaker Option Off. Programming the Holter Monitor at the computer. Next, insert the USB cable from the PC into the Decipher Holter Monitor. The Patient Monitor Wizard screen will auto-load to your computer screen. If this does not happen, 
click the Monitor Application icon. Once opened, click the Prepare Monitor for Patient Hookup icon and the Patient Information form will come up. Fill out the form as complete as possible. Shaded areas are required. When complete, click Next. The computer will prompt you to verify that the patient information is correct. If correct, click Next. If you've left any required information out, an error message will appear. You will be able to go back and fill in any missing required information. A message screen will indicate that the monitor is now ready to be placed onto the patient. Click OK. The Holter monitor is now programmed with the patient information. As a double check, you can click on the IRD icon on your desktop to verify the patient's information has been listed in the Pending Procedures section of the Internet Report Delivery screen. Section 2. Installing the Holter monitor on the patient. Be sure you have filled out and had the patient sign the Holter monitor loan agreement. Medicomp does not need this form but it protects your facility because the patient is taking responsibility for the monitor. Step 1. Identify electrode sites. The electrodes will be placed in the locations indicated in the diagram. The same diagram is located on the laminated patient setup chart. Step 2. Preparing the skin. In order to obtain the best ECG recording, the following skin preparation procedure is recommended for the patient hookup. Whenever possible, place the patient in an upright sitting position. This is useful to avoid potential setup problems. Following the lead placement diagram, select sites that are flat and bony. Avoid skin folds or creases, irritated skin or scar tissue, and highly muscular areas. If necessary, at each site, shave an area slightly larger than the size of the electrode you will be using. If the patient has applied powder, lotion, sunblock, etc. to the chest, or has excessively oily skin, it may be necessary to wash each site with plain soap and water. Do not use a soap that contains lotion or oil. Wipe each site using alcohol-soaked gauze pads to thoroughly remove body oils that may prohibit good adhesion. Wait until completely dry. Place a very small amount, about the size of the tip of a cotton swab, of new prep gel on an ordinary paper towel. Rub firmly into the skin at each electrode site and wipe off any excess gel. Do not use your finger or a gauze pad to apply the gel. Step 3. Apply electrodes and cable wires. Attach all five cable wires to fresh electrodes. Then, remove the backing from each electrode and inspect its gel cup for moistness before application. Dry gel inhibits signal conduction. Carefully position the electrodes at the appropriate color-coded sites and press firmly to ensure that there are no air spaces between the skin and the gel cup on the patch. Please, take the time now to explain some procedure details to the patient. This will allow some extra time for the patient's skin to absorb the electrode gel, which may help skin prep errors from occurring. Step 4. Connect the monitor to the patient. Okay, now I'm going to get your monitor all set up. There are two types of patient cables, depending on the model of decipher you are using. Both plug into the top connector in similar fashion. When a complete connection is made, the unit will initialize and then display pacemaker option off. Press yes if your patient does not have a pacemaker or no to change the settings. When the monitor displays the patient's name and PC settings OK, press yes. The monitor will automatically begin checking lead placement and skin prep quality. If the monitor does not see good quality ECG, it will display which color lead wire is having trouble, such as check red. For additional information, consult the troubleshooting chart on the back of the laminated patient setup chart for possible solutions. When the monitor displays monitoring and the current date and time, the monitor is recording patient data. Secure the lead wires with stress loops. 
there should be no tension on the patches from the wires or on the cable connected to the monitor. Patient use of the Holter monitor. Remind the patient of the importance of pressing the symptom button if they experience any symptoms and recording the activity and time in the patient diary. Have them refer to the time on the patient monitor when recording their entries. At the time you had the symptom, okay. what you were doing at the time, okay. what your symptom was, and the duration of your symptom. This is very important for your doctor to have this. Place the monitor in the case and attach to the patient's belt or the patient can wear the monitor on a lanyard around their neck. Caution the patient not to use the lanyard while sleeping or operating machinery. The patient is now ready to leave. Section 3. End of test procedure. Hello. Hi. I'm Peter Jones. I'm returning my halter monitor and my patient activity diary. Okay, great. Would you like me to set up a follow-up appointment for your results? Yes, please. Okay, great. When the patient returns, check the patient diary for entries and fax it to Medicom at 1-888-340-4430. Downloading patient data. If the monitor's display is blank, the procedure is finished. Turn the monitor on by pressing the Yes button. A message similar to Procedure Complete, Please Return Decipher will be displayed. If the monitor displays Please Replace Patient Cable, the procedure is still running. You do not have to stop the monitor. Connect the unit to the computer by plugging in the USB cable and it will begin downloading the patient's ECG to the CMC. If the Internet Report Delivery Program did not start, double-click the IRD icon on your desktop. In about 90 seconds, the download will be complete. The unit will beep. If the patient filled out a patient diary, or if it is a STAT procedure, please check the appropriate boxes in IRD. In the Pending Procedures window, the patient's status will change from On Patient to At CMC. Once the patient's data has been received at the CMC, it will be reviewed and a report prepared in less than 24 hours. The patient information will move from the Pending Procedures to the Completed Procedures section of the Internet Report Delivery window. Accessing patient data and retrieving patient reports. The patient ECG data is now available for review. Click on the patient's name and then click the View Reports icon for details. To retrieve patient reports from the web, go to Medicomp's homepage at www.medicompinc.com and click the Arrhythmia Access Login icon on the left. Fill in your username and password and click Login. The Welcome to the Arrhythmia Access Portal page will come up and advise you of any updates or alerts. Clicking on Reports and then Holter will give you access to your patient's reports. Throughout the procedure, reports will be available for review.